welcome. Come on in. I'm Dick Termas, and I created all of this stuff. For over 50 years, I've been doing spherical paintings. I do very realistic work, like this one shows of Saint-Denis in northern Paris. I stood in the center of the cathedral and turned in a circle. This is what, what I ended up creating from that experience. So let me just tip it here so you can see. This is everything above you. And this is everything below you to give you the, the sensation of it like floating and you're just looking at this whole environment all the way around you. This is another more geometrical piece up here. It's called square dance. And it's playing with a geometry of a square that shrinks and turns slightly and creates these spirals. I started with six squares, like a cube put on the ball, and then a rhythms of squares within each square, as it goes in, will create uh, these four spirals that come out of it. You know, sometimes the realism turns into fantasy realism, like this one, where I played, made up a cathedral and played with gargoyles kind of floating around in, inside there, like they've taken over or something. And I play with a six-point perspective is how I get all of this stuff to fit accurately from any way you look. In my system of perspective, if this is north, south is on the back side. So all of these are reverse thinking. When you look at the spheres, you're actually uh, conceptually inside the sphere looking at this. So if you're inside the sphere and this was a north direction, south would be back here, east would be over here, west over here, everything above you there and everything below you there. Most, most all of the flat work, you can see some of it starts to move towards sphere thinking, uh, but it, it was all done most of it back before I started on the sphere 50 some years ago. And there's, there's quite a few, like here's another one that is quite, quite fun when you play with a forest on the outside. And then the inside, if you look inside here, you'll see that it's all animals and a, a landscape in the background. And so it's, it's, it's kind of fun because, in, and I paint this all on the outside of the ball. So I'm also noticing here there's some smaller items. And then the, the, this little set here, Captured Worlds, there's five, five platonic solids that you pop out, are scored and perforated, you fold them up very easily, glue them together, kind of tape them to hold them, and then they turn into this set right here. Each one of these I actually uh, was myself trying to find how six-point perspective fits on each of the different polyhedron in the most logical way that it should fit. We call it the Black Hill Sphere because it's the 25 different sites of the Black Hills. We also call it At One because when you go through the Black Hills, you get this experience of really connecting with yourself. It's a ball within a ball with a liquid between it. And it's solar, so it's, it's powered. It actually turns by light. That shows a panoramic view of, of this sphere. This is also, we, we do a couple of coloring books that are part of this. This is one that's on the website, and it's a PDF. Print it off, and you get all of these really fun allu optical illusions you know, in it. Bean's coloring books are kind of an in thing right now. We thought this is also kind of fun because it folds into all of these polyhedron up here and you find them flat in here, but you add your own color to it and you turn them in, you cut them out and fold them up into different polyhedron structures. I have a book on perspective that's really incredible. I mean, it's it takes you through one through six point perspective and it uses a system of grids which is different than the way I was taught perspective. www.termospheres.com, uh, plural <laughs> spheres. Uh, uh, you'll, there'll, there'll be a, a, a store section to that and the website is really cool. So just to get on the website is really fun because there's every sphere I think here is on that website. 